We have the city shut up tightly. No one can get in or out. Yeah, and the king and his army are stuck inside too. <laughs> that is good news. God has just spoken to me and told me what we're supposed to do next. Should we get ready to attack? No, no, this is a plan. We're going to take all of our armed men and march around the city. Sounds great. Surround the city, and then we attack. No, no, we're going to do this every day for six days. We will also carry the Ark of the Covenant with us. Sounds great, so God will be with us. I'm not finished. Seven priests will go before the Ark of the Covenant and carry ram horn trumpets. And then we will attack. On the seventh day, we will march around the city seven times. Ah, yeah. With the priests blowing the trumpets. And then? When the priests blow long blasts on their trumpets, all the people will give a loud shout. So when do we attack? We don't, we won't have to. Because they'll laugh themselves to death? Oh, oh, I see. It's a psych out tactic. The first day they might be amused, yeah, yeah. but after a while they'll start to wonder what are they planning to do to us? And then they'll start getting paranoid, yeah. thinking, ooh, these guys are crazy. No telling what they will do. <laughs> it could be anything, anytime, and then finally they'll just panic and freak out. Once everyone has shouted, the walls of Jericho will fall down. We'll just be able to walk right in and attack. Yeah, you know, we're going to be like shooting ducks out there. It's like saying, here we are. Just some crazy people walking around in circles. Go ahead and shoot us. We don't have to be terrified or discouraged. God told me three times, be strong and courageous. And with that plan, we'll have to be. Come on, think about it. We march, we blow trumpets, and yell, and then the walls will just all of a sudden fall down? Have you guys already forgotten how God parted the Jordan River so that we could get across? If God can make a wall of water, why can't he knock down a wall of stone? So God just said we'll have to be strong and courageous. Not have to be, we can be, because God has promised to be with us always. And God has promised to give us all the land, every place we set our feet. Oh, so we're setting our feet on the land that God is going to give us by walking around the city. I see, I see, I see. So we'll walk around the city and God will give us that land. Yeah, yeah, but God wants to give us so, so much more than that. He wants us to have strength and courage in Him. He doesn't want us to trust in ourselves. He wants us to obey and trust in Him for everything. But God will give us this land? Yes, okay, maybe if we all just get going and obey, the whole object lesson will eventually sink in. When we obey God, God can work in and for us, so... Let's go! Let's go! Let's go out and do this thing! And that's one to grow on. All right, this is Brother Trevor with our weekly Kids Life video. And we're gonna talk about a Bible lesson today. I hope you guys enjoyed our skit about Joshua and Jericho. I hope you will enjoy this video where I kind of explain to you a little bit more uh, about what happened that day at Jericho, okay? So today we're gonna be talking about Joshua. And Joshua was a great leader. He took over from Moses after Moses died. 
and he led the people of Israel, the Israelites, into Jericho. So he was a great leader and he listened to God. He was very good at listening to God. So as they came into the promised land, they came up on the city of Jericho. And Jericho was a great city. It had a big old wall around it and it, had, it was heavily guarded and no one could come in or no one could go out because the Israelites were there. And the people of Jericho, they hid behind their walls. So Joshua talked to God and God told Joshua, he said, walk around the city for six days. And then on the seventh day, everyone, the priests will blow their horns and everyone shout and the walls of Jericho will, will fall down. And so God told Joshua basically that he had to trust in him. And so that's what Joshua did. So Joshua went back and he told everybody to get by the wall, all the soldiers and the priests, all the soldiers and seven priests, and that the priests were going to carry the ram horn trumpets with them. And so he told him, he said, we're going to walk around the city for six days. We're going to march around this city, right? And we're not going to say anything. The priests are going to blow their trumpets, but we're not going to say anything. We're going to stay quiet. And then on the seventh day, they all marched around the city seven times. And on the seventh time, everyone shouted. Joshua told everyone to shout, and he said, the city is yours. And as soon as they shouted, the big stone walls, they just crumbled. And the soldiers went right in, and they took the city. They captured it. So... Why did those stone walls fall? Was it because those people shouted? Was it because of the trumpets? The realm horns? Trumpets. Is that why they fell? No, that's not why they fell. Why do you think they fell? Because God said they would, right? God said they would, and God made them fall. Do you guys remember the story of the three little pigs? And how the wolf, he came and he blew all the houses down. But when he came to the house of brick, he could blew as hard as he could. And he couldn't blow them down. Well, that's the same thing with the people of Israel. It's not because they blew their trumpets. It's not because they yelled. It's because they listened to God. So I got these two things with me today I want to show you guys. One is a leaf. And when we blow the leaf, right, it's gone. We can blow the leaf and it'll move, right? But when Mr. Trevor blows this brick, it doesn't go anywhere. See that? It doesn't do like the leaf because what? It's heavy, right? And those walls of Jericho, they were made of stone. That's what the Bible tells us. And so just because some people yelled because they, yeah, because they yelled or because they blew their trumpets, doo -doo -doo, that's not why the walls fell. They fell because the Israelites did those things. And because of that, God made them fall. God is the one who made those walls of Jericho fall down. He's the one that gave that city to Joshua and the Israelites. But it was because Joshua and the Israelites trusted in God so much that they would be silent and walk around that wall. And they would scream like crazy people on the seventh day, on the seventh time. And those walls fell. It's because they listen to God. So how do we listen to God? How do we know what God wants us to do? How do we know what God instructs us to do? I'm glad you asked. We know from God's holy word. We know when we read the Bible, how God wants us to live our lives, how we're supposed to treat other people, and most importantly, how to accept the salvation that Jesus Christ gives us because he died on the cross. So if you're wondering, how do we know what God wants us to do? Go to your Bible. That's how you know. And today, we're reading out of Joshua 6, 1 through 21. So if you guys want to go back and read this story for yourself, please do that. After this, we're going to have some trivia questions for you about the Bible lesson today. And then we're going to have some family discussion questions for you guys, okay? Thank you guys for watching the video today. Mr. Trevor is going to pray for us. 
and then we'll be dismissed, okay? Dear Lord, we just pray that we can trust in you, that we can show leadership by following your instructions that you give us in the Bible, and we can just be like Joshua, dear Lord, that we could do uh, some things sometimes that are out of the ordinary, some things that might be different from what everybody else is doing. But dear Lord, I pray that we would trust in you so much that we would do these crazy, unordinary things and change the world for you. Make walls fall down for you. It's in your name I pray. Amen. Thanks, guys. See y'all next week. Oh, yeah! Shall we play a game? I'll be back.